Hello everybody and welcome to Innovative Vector Works BIM. My name is Jonathan Reeves and I'm an architect and professional Vectorworks teacher. I'm going to share with you some of my top 10 favourite Vectorworks 2018 features. So I'm going to carry on with the video and show you a few more of my favourite Vectorworks features. So the next one has to be the resource manager. So this is one of the really great features about Vectorworks when we're working on projects. So if I would like to quickly locate um, something, for example, there's a symbol here. You can see it says Furniture Living Couch 10. And I can basically right click and I can locate it immediately in the resource manager. Now the resource manager pops up and it's quite a large window and basically it takes up quite a bit of space. So what I would recommend with this, you want to kind of make it a kind of sensible size. So it sort of sits on the screen, but I would definitely learn Command R to hide that away when you don't need it. So park it somewhere sensible, use Command R to bring it up and down. But if it's hidden away, as I say, if you right click, you can always bring it up immediately where you left it with that command. The great thing with that is it immediately goes through to that particular object, so it makes it very easy to find. Let me show you how that works on walls. Let's say I wanted to modify this wall type. I right click, I locate the wall style. It immediately goes to that particular wall, and there we go, it sort of found that particular wall style for me. So right click and edit it, um, and I could make some changes here which would globally you know, change the entire project very rapidly. Okay, so let's go back to our resource manager. And the other thing that's really handy here is to note that you have not only some side panels, which you can turn on and off. So if you want a nice big preview, you can get one. Otherwise, you kind of drag those out and drag that one in. There we go. Uh, there's also a new sort of slightly more modern um, vertical emphasis now. Some people prefer that. And that actually works quite well when the palette is docked in over here. I think that works quite nicely. You still need a fair bit of space to make it worthwhile. <clears throat> Personally, I'm not a massive fan of the docking of the resources manager. I'm quite happy for it to just be on the normal view. So let's enable my palettes again and just kind of sit in its own little bit of space. In an ideal world though, you have a second screen and I'm quite lucky I've got two 32 inch screens here. So normally I kind of park it over on my second screen, which I'm not sure you can see. But you get the idea. Excellent. Okay, so let's strip the resource manager back and explain this a little bit more. So you have these buttons along the top. Now what these do is enable various libraries that you might be able to access. And I'm going to start off with the favourites. So favourite files are files that you find particularly useful as you're working. And basically what you can do here is you can add as many favourites as you really require. You can see I've got quite a few here. So in order to add files, you just click on the cog, you go add favorite files, you navigate through, whoops, navigate through, so add favorite files, navigate through to any particular project. And if you've got one that you particularly like, let's say select this one, for example, with some electrical symbols, I'll click open. And um, basically Vectorworks asks where you would like it. What this means is you can create folders for these libraries to go into to be very organized. I'm just going to click OK and add it at root level. So here it is, that drawing appears. And the great thing is now I can look into the resources of that file without even actually having to open it. So if I put it on all resources, Vectorworks will now show me all the resources within that file. Another really great feature of the new resource manager is that you actually get a very nice big preview of the objects of the symbols or the worksheets or whatever resources you're looking at. So by using the filter, you can basically focus just on the elements you're actually requiring. So I'm just going to look at symbols for a while and you can see my electrical symbols that I use on different projects here. Okay, that's great. So if I quickly scroll through a few of my projects here, you can see that I've set up a bunch of JRA libraries. Um, so as a Vectorworks specialist and reseller, these are libraries that I'm very happy to share with people I work with when I'm doing tr professional training. Or if I help supply software for you, these are always libraries that I'm willing to share. And I find them a really good sort of starter pack um, for a practice. You know, you've got lots of furniture in there, uh, thousands of people, 
Um, we've got some stone hatches. Let's just change that to hatches. Lots of nice hatches, which look great, actually. In fact, I'll just right click quickly and I can actually have a quick peek into that file and open the file for a second. And you can see this is how I've structured my libraries. So really, really nice, uh, easy previews if you want to open the map. And the way I would sort of, you know, explain this, this is great because you can basically duplicate this and maybe use the attribute mapping tool uh, to sort of scale the hatch. And now you could simply right click and you could actually generate a new hatch from that one. So it's very easy to kind of generate lots of alternatives from these standard ones. And of course, add your own office standards. Okay, let's close this file down. I might save that and close that one down. And let's go back to our previous project. Here we go. So let's carry on with the resource manager a little bit more. So I hope you uh, begin to see the benefit of using the favorite files here. And you know, it's just a great way to sort of organize things. Okay, so the, the next level is after favorites, of course you have the Vectorwitz libraries. And there is a really vast array of Vectorwitz libraries. And I'm really not going to explore too many of these now. But just to say there's an absolutely massive amount of very useful things in here. And one, one thing I do find when I'm doing my training with uh, different individuals and practices, they're simply not aware of all the really great stuff. So if I were you, I would encourage you to spend, you know, half an hour just doing nothing but looking through the libraries. And then at least next time you need a certain um, piece of, you know, something, a door or a cooker or a bath or a toilet, you'll know where to find it. So there's an awful lot of stuff available. Um, let's have a quick look into the furnishings library. You know, some really great content that Vectorwitz are offering these days for all sorts of um, designs. So I find that particularly useful. Now, if there is a particular library that you really, really like the look of, uh, for example, I often use this one. What you can do is basically you can right click and you can download and install it and it will download and install itself from the Vectorwitz cloud. And basically that will mean it's permanently available. So when you look at it in the browser, that there's no cloud icon here. So anything with a cloud is online um, and it does take a second or so to, to download if you double click. You can see it downloads the whole library so it doesn't take too long and then we go we can insert our symbol but if you've already downloaded it then you know you won't even have to wait at all so that's quite nice so we can simply double click let's say we need a big 65 inch tv we double click and let's drag one of those into the drawing and that is pretty big so maybe we'll upgrade the uh <laughs> the tv for the clients here and can't help but just want to rotate that into position. So let me give you one more little tip here. On my workspace, what I've done is I've enhanced all the shortcuts. So I've set the tool up to use rotate. So basically, when I click and rotate, I can rotate my screen. But what's really nice is, um, in order to be able to swap to another object and rotate that, all I need to do is hold the command key down, and then I immediately go back to my rotate tool can see let's do that rotate that one so let's go rotate and hold command down swap into that one and let's rotate that little bit of furniture there in a bit more detail and there's my books so hopefully that's a great little tip for you the rotate tool um, slightly distracted from the resource manager but let's get back to this as well okay now, one of my absolutely favorite features, as well as sort of being able to look into these libraries and spend quite a bit of time looking through, is the ability to search them very rapidly. So let's say that you are looking for a particular chair. Okay, so all we need to do is go to the search dialog and we can search all the drawings that are available, um, all of the files, or you can just select selected files. But let me type in the word chair, I'll hit return. And extremely rapidly, what Vectorwitz will do is now search all its libraries over here, plus any of my libraries, for chairs. And you can see, wow, there's quite a wide variety of chairs available in Vectorworks. So sometimes, you know, the first port of call should always be the resources manager. And you should always have a quick look and see if that resource is already available in Vectorworks. The other really nice thing about using the Vectorwitz symbols is not only are there 2D and 3D, they also have maybe some tags and some data. 
So that means if I want to, I can search particular tags and you'll notice that if I click on that, it'll actually take me to their particular website. So maybe I can sort of check the cost or the specification. So that's a really, really nice feature that's been added to the resource manager. So let's double click. It will take a second or two to download that particular library. And then I should be able to place some of those chairs into my model. And uh, let's just place one of those. There we go. And we'll have a couple of chairs over here in this corner. And you get the idea. Now that that's in my file, if I right click and locate it, you'll see it will actually locate in my particular drawing. So that's a resource that I can kind of build up and use again and again in this project. But one of the other lovely things, as I say, is all the chairs have both a 2D and a 3D side to them. So they are what they call hybrid. Let's turn the clip cube off and let's spin around and have a look at the model. So it's really, really nice. And you can build your models up from almost any source. Because with Vectorwitz, we can import such a wide range of 3D file types, including SketchUp. I mean, it's very easy to make your own custom symbols. And all you really need to do to tag them is right click, add tags. Okay, so if I type in yellow chair and click OK. So now when I go for my search, if I type in yellow, click return, everything that will uh, Vectorwitz will find that has yellow in the title or tag will pop up. Wow, quite a lot. So some, there is my chair down there actually, so that's good. Let's type in yellow chair and hopefully there's not too many yellow chairs and we will see, we'll see what pops up. And it just makes it easy for me to search the drawing. Would help if I spelled yellow right. Um, or search all my files to essentially bring in resources that I've created before. And this works extremely well. There we go. It's narrowed it down just to that yellow chair. So even if I didn't have this project open it, as long as I can remember I've done a yellow chair somewhere and I've tagged it, I'll be able to find that for the future. Okay, so the last bit is um, if we click on the online libraries, there's even more libraries that Vectorworks can access. Now, it looks like I'm not connected at the moment, but you should try this. And if you are members of the Vectorworks service select, uh, which I certainly recommend as a reseller, it has many, many advantages. And I'll do a separate video on this uh, soon, but I'll just quickly show you um, if it logs in. Hopefully it will quite quickly. Basically, with the Vector with Service Select, one of the really good benefits that you get is a lot of extra content that normal users uh, don't get. So if I go to my subscription libraries, you should find some really great content here for architecture, landscape, entertainment, and lots of nice rendering materials as well. Um, yeah, we'll just wait that for that to load in. Here we go. You can see some really lovely libraries, um, additional libraries, quite nice sort of detailed bits of furniture and things like that. So it takes, you know, takes no time at all to make the model look really interesting. Okay, so there's the VSS libraries. Let's go back to Vectorworks. Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed that little short video on the resources manager. There's, there's a little bit more we can do with it, but I think that's enough to give you the general idea here. Thanks for watching.